In this problem, we've been asked to find the missing side of a right triangle. Anytime you have a right triangle and you need to find one of the sides, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And it applies only for right triangles. We have a right angle here, so that means we can use the Pythagorean theorem. A and B must be the legs of the right triangle, and C must be the hypotenuse of the right triangle. The most important thing to do when using the Pythagorean theorem is to make sure you label A, B, and C correctly. C is the hypotenuse, and the hypotenuse is always across from the 90 degree angle. So if you find this little box that marks the 90 degrees, always go across the triangle, and that value is C. Um, a common mistake on this one would be to assume that this length here, the x, is c, um, just because it's at an angle. Um, but just remember, you could easily turn your paper and rotate it a little bit, and then this one would become at an angle. A and B are the legs, and the legs are the two sides that form the 90-degree angle. Um, one way to remember it is if you trace these out, they form the letter L. So they form that corner that makes the 90 degrees. It doesn't matter which one you call A and B. You can have those switched around. But the most important one is to get C labeled correctly. Once you have them labeled, you just plug them into the theorem. So A squared would be 6 squared. Uh, B squared would be X squared. And C squared is 13 squared. After you plug them in, you just need to do some simplifying. 6 squared is 36, and 13 squared is 169. Once you've simplified both sides, we need to start to try to get x by itself. Um, that means we need to get rid of this plus 36 over here. We can do that by subtracting it from both sides. That makes it cancel out over on the left, and that leaves us with x squared equals 133. To undo squaring something, you take the square root. So we can square root both sides. That gives us the square root of 133. If you're asked to give an exact answer, you could just leave it like this and say x equals the square root of 133. Um, or you might be asked to round it. So if we plug that in our calculator, it would come out to approximately 11.53.